SEVERAL PROTESTERS HAVE BEEN ARRESTED AFTER STAGING A SIT-IN. HI, EVERYONE. I'M STEPHANIE GORE. GEORGE IS OFF RIGHT NOW. DEMONSTRATORS HAVE BEEN GETTING THEIR MESSAGE OUT ALL DAY LONG AS GOVERNOR PETER SHUMLIN GAVE HIS THIRD INAUGURAL ADDRESS. WPTZ'S JARED HILL WAS THERE AS POLICE CAME IN. AND, JARED, YOU HAVE THE LATE BREAKING DEVELOPMENTS. Right, Steph. Well, around 8 o'clock, police told protesters uh, three times that the state house was closed and they had to leave. After hours sitting on the house floor, this was their response. Take a look. We shall not lose. Now, 29 protesters with the group Health Care is a Human Right were arrested tonight. Some peacefully walked out while others had to be dragged and even carried out of the building. This all started earlier in the day when more than 200 protesters showed up to Governor Shumlin's inauguration, demanding the legislature take a serious look at single-payer health care proposal, which the governor recently withdrew, saying that it was too expensive for the state right now. Now take a look at what one of the protesters had to say earlier. Because there's a, there's a deepening health care crisis in this country, and it manifests itself not only in people not getting the health care that they need when they need it, but in people going bankrupt. You know, we were broke up, broken up into many rooms, trying to reach out to our legislators, you know, trying to, to get Chap Smith to, to step up and, and, and do what he's really responsible for doing under the law, which is to take up the financing proposal and to, and to move forward in a way that's equitable and in the interest of the overwhelming majority of Vermonters. And indeed, the overwhelming majority of... Now, about 30 minutes ago, they actually got a response, or we got a response in an email from, uh, from the Speaker of the House, Shep Smith, which was really more so about uh, praising the, the process and the protest process than addressing some of the concerns and issues that the protesters actually had. Now, I have uh, put out an email to his office to, to figure out whether or not he has a response to some of their demands, but uh, I have yet to hear back. Live in the newsroom, Jared Hill, WPTZ, News Channel 5.